Hey, what's up my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again, man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers, to all the followers. Big up on yourself. Alright, so we see where West Indies current standing vice captain Jermaine Blackwood has made ESPN Crick Info test team of the year. And personally, I must say I am extremely proud of Blackwood. You know, because he has managed to grab his second opportunity given by West Indies selectors. You know, he has grabbed it with both hands and he has really turned it up. You know, we see where his mentality is shifting. He seems to be a more mature cricketer. So I'm really happy to know that he was able to have a good year. You know, albeit uh, the, the sport was really interrupted by, by the pandemic. The good thing is that the little time that was afforded to us in 2020 for cricket, Blackwood grabbed the opportunity with both hands and made use of it. And I mean, his first hint in test cricket, you could see the, you could see the arm, um, the talent. You could see that, you know, he was a cricketer that was able to hold his own. But majority of the time, he would be criticized for not being able to control his temper as he regards when he's batting his temperament. You know, we're talking about Blackwood batting or West Indies might be two or three wickets down. And the situation just called for cool calm shots and probably Blackwood would be in the 30-40s and just dance down the track and play a rush shot and get out. So those are the little things that, you know, they, they would have asked him to work on. And I mean, after spending some time in the domestic, on the domestic scene, he really racked up the runs. You could see that he worked on his mentality. You know, you could see that he was more focused. So the couple of years away from West Indies cricket, it seems as if he really analyzed the situation, knowing that if he's going to make it at the international level, then he has to be able to stand and bat for long periods of time and you know when he was called to the England tour in the summer um, of last year you know a lot of the commentators were saying that boy they heard that he was doing very good on the domestic scene his temperament is, is a little better he's able to now bat for a long period of time but everybody wanted to see what he was going to do and I mean he got out um, playing rush shots on, on a couple of occasions but you could see that he was trying you could see that the man was actually trying to fix the whole situation of him being too attacking but you know that is the next thing you know you can't be too timid if you're an international cricketer and Blackwood isn't timid any at all but he just need to know how to manage his temperament now, I am actually going to go through the test team of the year that was selected. But just quickly before I do that, I'm um, just going to look at a couple of the things that Blackwood would have achieved last year as regards to test cricket. Now, the first thing that probably come to mind is that 95 runs that he made in that match-winning effort against England in the summer. And I mean, it was a very good innings. You know, really sorry that he didn't manage to go on and get the 100. But, you know, he really occupied the crease for a good period of time. He took the fight to the English bowlers and he was able to see win this to victory. Um, shortly after that, he followed up that big half century with a well-played 104 runs um, against New Zealand. So we see that, you know, Blackwood is actually coming right along. And through those two little series there between um, England and New Zealand, he was able to um, score at an average of 42 and you know that's pretty healthy and this run of farm actually gave Blackwood his first selection in the team of in the test team of the year and he has really placed himself among some very good cricketers some very good test cricketers so now we're just going to quickly go through the the cricketers that would have made the test team of the year so we're talking about Dan Sibley's, Josh Butler, Ben Stokes, Stuart Broad, Kane Williamson, Tim Southey, Kyle Jemison, Nathan Lyon, Baba Azam Wicked batsman from out of Pakistan and running off the list we have Shan Masood. Now majority of the top test playing nations they weren't really active throughout 2020. So some of the names that usually feature on the test team of the year they didn't make it. People like our Virat Kohli, our Steve Smith, our Roy Sharma, our Rahul, you know those guys they didn't feature on the list because they, they didn't really play much test cricket throughout 2020. You know, so with this big boost to his confidence, Blackwood should be looking to push on and to give us some good runs down there in Bangladesh um, further down in this month. I mean, he has taken on the role of vice-captain, so more things will even be expected from him. You know, he, can be, he, he won't be allowed to go out there and just be dibby dibby. Uh, you know, he will have to um, apply himself, play as a leader, because he's amongst the senior players right now based on the, 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 based on the players that would have um, gone over there to Bangladesh. 
Now, according to Blackwood, he will be looking to remain grounded, looking to push on, to build on from this um, main achievement. And, you know, he also alluded to the fact that this is a big deal for him, being able to make the test playing team of the year. You know, it's actually a big deal, but he's going to remain humble and he's going to continue to work hard. So we just have to hope, hope that he will be able to go over there in Bangladesh and he will be able to score some runs because at the end of the day, um, that is how you, you, you cement yourself in the West Indies cricket team. I think he is about 29, so still have a couple more years to go. So if he should go over there and have a good series in Bangladesh, then we know that he is rock solid in that middle order right there. So just want to spend the time to congratulate Blackwood on making the test team of the year. I mean, a lot of cricket w wasn't really played, but you know, he got the opportunity and he, and he took it with both hands. And going up against England and New Zealand is no easy thing because we see what New Zealand is doing with Pakistan right now so we know it wasn't easy to go and score a century against them you know so congratulations to Jeremy and Blackwood so sports of the bone family let us let me know what you think in the comment let me know how proud you are of Jeremy and Blackwood sports of the bone keep you informed please remember to like share leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe to the channel I'm out